A proprietary company is a form of privately held company in Australia and South Africa that is either limited or unlimited. However, unlike a public company there are, depending on jurisdiction, restrictions on what it can and cannot do. In Australia, a proprietary company is defined under Section 45A of the Corporations Act 2001 the Act puts certain restrictions on proprietary companies such as not permitting them to have more than 50 members shareholders. Another important restriction relates to fundraising. A proprietary company must not engage in fundraising that would require a disclosure document such as a prospectus, an offer information statement, or a profile statement to be issued Sec. The Act states in which circumstances a company must issue a prospectus when attempting to raise funds. This means that a proprietary company must not offer its shares to the public. Section 45A of the Act also distinguishes proprietary companies as either large proprietary or small proprietary. The differences here relate to issues such as operating revenue consolidated gross assets, and the number of employed persons. Large proprietary companies are required to appoint an auditor and lodge appropriate financial statements with the Australian Securities and Investments Commission Topic. <laughs> Proprietary limited or unlimited company Under Australian law, a proprietary limited company abbreviated as PTY limited is a business structure that has at least one shareholder and up to 50, where the liability of shareholders is limited to the value of shares. Its counterparts include the Public Limited Company Limited and the Unlimited Proprietary Company PTY with a share capital. Under the Australian Corporations Act 2001 a proprietary company must be either Proprietary Limited Pty Limited Company, limited by shares, where shareholders are afforded more protection when it comes to the level of liability they face for company debts, or Unlimited Proprietary Pty Company with a share capital, similar to its Limited Company Limited or Pty Limited counterpart, but where the members or shareholders' liability is not limited, the Proprietary Limited or Unlimited Company must have at least one shareholder, no more than 50 non-employee shareholders, and at least one director who must live in Australia. Australia. A secretary can be appointed Sec. 204A, that must be at least 18 years of age. One person may simultaneously hold the positions of company director and secretary. Proprietary limited companies are also classified as «large» or «small». A proprietary company is classified as small only if it meets at least two of the following criteria. It has assets of less than $12.5 million at the end of a financial year. It has fewer than 50 employees at the end of a financial year. It has a gross operating revenue of less than $25 million for the financial year. Most large proprietary companies have to lodge audited accounts.
Small proprietary companies only have to prepare audited financial statements if ordered to do so by the Australian Securities and Investments Commission or members holding 5% of voting shares and, in some cases, if controlled by a foreign company. Topic: Company names. Proprietary companies have the word proprietary in their name, thus Relays Proprietary Limited, abbreviated to Relays Pty Limited or Relays P.L. Topic: Other countries. In Singapore, a proprietary company name would be named Relays Private Limited, abbreviated to Relays Private Limited. In South Africa, the name of a private company ends with Pty Limited. That of a public company ends with Limited. Topic Company Number To help identify companies more uniquely and concisely, many countries have a company number which does not change if the company changes its name. Australian Company Number ACN Topic See also Australian company law South African company law